Hello everyone and thank you for registering in the Cross Curricular Art Projects Workshop. My name is Bogdan Koral Konikowski and I am artist painter and president of Artisa Society of the Arts in Edmonton. I have the privilege to teach you how to create a number of the fun generating hands-on projects that enhance students' learning in core subjects. You can adjust the level of difficulty according to the grade level you teach. For your convenience, in addition to this instructional step-by-step -step video, I have provided you with a complimentary PowerPoint presentation and a handout. And thank you to my wife Isabella Orelski, Artist Fellow, for assisting me in production of this video. Now, let's start our creative adventure. Hello guys, today we have an exciting project to create. This time we will be working in style of the First Nations people of Canada uh, and will represent the story of creation through our own lens. So what I've done, I pick up the image of a turtle and remember to do it in the style of the First Nations people, we want to make sure that we will use the heavy outline. We will be not looking for any kind of shading or changing the tonality. Remember all is about how the composition will look like. It has to be exciting, interesting. I will definitely use black outlines, but you can decide which color will suit your own image. And choose the image of an animal. If you are not familiar with the First Nations people creation story, I would very much recommend that you will watch the video on YouTube, one of the videos. What kind of materials we'll be using here? Well, record, of course, and then paint. My suggestion would be that you will rely on the acrylic uh, paint. You can also use oils, but I think acrylics will be the best one. Tempera paint will be fine too, though tempera paint is not as stable as the acrylic. Therefore, it will be much easier to remove it from the surface of the record. And I don't think that's what we want to have various brushes you decide which one will be good but the most important is at the end once the image is created you want to come back and recreate some of those lines to make sure that they are sharp white and pulling up the whole image together so let us start I have my target on the side and I definitely want to have it in the center like an island After I sketched it with the pencil, I'm ready now to move to paint. I have my plate here, which is an old one that I already used for another project, and I have to really think about the colors that I want to use. So I want to introduce some of the, or keep some of the black, though it will be not everything. I also want to use some other colors here. Let's see where we can start, and I want to think about blue first. the blue is applied if we need to change it we certainly will apply another layer if there will be such a need right now we are moving to another color i like red here very very much so i will be thinking about applying the red inside red is not really very heavy see i'm leaving here the black around As you can see, I'm looking for the big shapes that can be filled with one color of one tone, no gradation of tones, what's forever, flat, flat, flat. Maybe I can move to the yellow color. Okay, so let's see. You can see that the yellow is not really heavy, so I have to mix it with some white, otherwise, it will not cover the black surface at all. See, we can let it dry a little bit and then we can come back to it and put pure yellow on it. See? Okay, 
And now it's time for green. So you have to wait a little bit until this will dry, but in the meantime, you can think what we want to create those sections. There, you have a teal seal. I will use the outline separating blue from the black using the teal color. And I think that's a very good choice. We have to move to the other parts, so we have to let it just dry a little bit more. I like the outline, so I will go back to those outlines. See here, I can still create something, but I'm going here with my black color. I do want to make it more even. We want to make a nice connection of color since this is a quite a nice color inside then I think a tiny bit of the pattern in this black rim will do well. And we still have to look at the outlines because they are not finished. The tail is better. Just have to go with another layer of red. And I think we are done. We have lots of beautiful colors included in this painting and we have those flat shapes the way how we wanted them. So that's good. Maybe one more thing and then I would go here with some of the black outlines, just the last ones. Very good. So our project is just the last touches. So our project is finished. You can see we have lots of colors here, but the way how they are applied, well, they are applied very flat. So we have shapes of, with lots of lots of outlines. And I hope that you had lots of fun by working on the project that represents creation stories. Hello guys, today I want to show you how to create an interesting drawing that will look like a stained glass, like Rosetta windows in those beautiful medieval Gothic churches. So let us start with that, that we need to have a piece of paper and I would use a regular drawing paper 
like a white color then i would have of course pencil lots of lots of different color markers and then sharpies or regular ones highlighters would be good too and different objects that have perfect circles also the ruler and we will look for it in the second so let's start with creating the perfect circle so I have the plates here, a number of them, and I'm trying to put them perfectly in the center. Excellent. Now, I want to find out where's my center. I want to have another one. Since I have the circle, then I have to adjust the other one in the center. And I will create another one. Wow. Notice, I can go with the pencil, white quite strong lines and that should be okay i can have another circle here i can decide if i will need it i have another one oh, using this object so i have one two three circles already that helps me to those three help me already to create quite interesting design now you can use the ruler i will use this beautiful triangle and then i will create one line let me see oh that's not going through the center oh la la it's here more. Okay, one, and then the other one through the, not exactly, notice what I've done. So to make it, so I have to change it, not the circle. So what I have to do, I can look, it will be somewhere here. Good. So we'll create another line here. Very good. And the other one I have to remove, but I will do it later on. So now I have to find where's the other one. So probably there. And I want to have another another line yeah. voila then i want to cross definitely through the center it's up to you i'm creating now design for my rosetta window or for mandala whatever you want to call it so what kind of design can i apply and i think it would be interesting to have a different design so here i design the shape Okay, I will have this shape here every, oh, maybe every second, every second. So center, center, we can see how different they are. Oh, la la, doesn't need to be perfect, right? We also work on symmetry here. So we want to really make sure that everything gets done in even number here. I like what is happening there and I, in the center, but I want to create like a flower one. Then I will have another shape coming here, then another one there, another one here, another one there, and then okay, going back, going back, going back. Very good. And then I can create this center the way it is. I can bring the line stronger. Good. Then we will go into the opposite, right? So here. And there, notice, wow. Now, center here. Going there. And going there. Now, in those parts, I think I would love to have some circles. So we'll have one. Or maybe this section here. So I'm using any object that helps me to create the shapes I want to have. So one will be here. Another one. Once we have those shapes, then we can decide for the for making it more interesting. Now we can okay go to the center and add some additional elements. But I think I want to bring kind of leaves. See like this something happening here and then another one part i mean that's very symmetrical that's the key very good and then we have the center here too and i'm not so sure if i like it like this i create another shape here you see wow that looks interesting okay so one like this it's up to you what you will do i'm just showing you my own version of the design for such a window or mandala
what can we do on this side maybe we'll put smaller and this this time rather than by the hand smaller circles and then can repeat the shame of the flower Hey, look at this. Wow, so much going on. Now, I think that we need something here as well, because it would be boring. So in this left spaces, you can decide if you want something here. I would just will leave it the way it is. I think it's already very, very ready. So now you have to decide which color you go inside. And I you go on top of the lines. So for example here, I think I want to have back. I really need to have stronger contrast. The another good addition will be the use of highlighters. And make now wider some of the lines. Okay. We can start working on color application, but before that, I will erase the additional pencil lines. See, this particular design looks like a true Rosetta window design. I just have to make sure that the colors that I will apply will nicely contrast each other, thus creating an interesting effect. Fantastic. I like to use highlighters very much. So I have those three. I have nice pink colors. I have purple. Black, of course, would be always a good addition, but we should have already plenty of the lights. So let's start. And we will repeat the same color combination. So that means we have to go with brown to the other three sections. Left. I will avoid white surface of the paper picking up through. So every second.
I like what's happening here and I like those certainly those dots I made them a little bit bigger because they certainly add to our image and the same here very good and those mm -hmm. and even if you want to let's see what will happen when we will have them yeah we just all what you have to do then is to use black marker and go around those dots and those now circles good Fantastic. So now our job is to cut it out. Very good. You can see it. This couple. Oh, I'll show you how to fix it. So when I see that there are some white spots, I can go on the edge and simply cover them. I have my paper then, and I can decide where my image will go. I can use the hot glue gun or I can glue it just using the glue stick. Very good. Let's see. The, I will try to keep the same distance, but I think it's okay like this. Very good. Then we can cut the other part, but we can do it another time. So you can see how interesting the image looks like. Hello guys! Today I want to introduce you to a project based on a realistic and surrealistic approach. We will combine both of them and we wrap it around by expecting that the images that we will create will be able to be interpreted through five senses. Anyway, let us start. I will use my own hand as a starting point. It doesn't mean that you have to use just one hand, you can use number of hands or maybe another object. So okay. it's very important that you will think about positioning of it. So you can place it horizontally, vertically, we can make it, for example, notice when I place my hand this way, I, will, I can even represent a tree. So there are many different ways what you can do with it. I want to create, hmm, that's my idea, that's a paint on the table. I think I want to create the effect of a wave. The drawing is not the perfect one, but I think you'll see when we place the hand, or maybe I should place my thumb. Yeah, see, like this. So, that's this representation of my hand. Like this. And remember, you always have to come back and fix the parts because when you just outline it very fast, then you never get it precise. And we don't need to. That is enough for us to give us an idea what is going on here. Okay, so I got this idea that that will be my hand will represent a wave. So I have an ocean here. I want to feel this, this will be the texture of the water. And how can I represent my water? So I will take the markers 
And I will go. And I'm thinking again, with such a big wave, it must be a salt water. It will be not a lake. It's definitely salt that I want to smell in the air. Then we have yellow. We have some interesting markers. Maybe this one will be okay for the hand. Crazy, crazy things happen. So, nail. What else can we have? So we have this ring happening. I will use a smaller marker. Which color is it? So this should be okay. That's good. And then oh, I need the green. And I need the green in the water because why it has to be only blue? I think I want to have some flowers on this beautiful hand. So maybe we we'll put the the boat. And then what can we have? We can have another boat somewhere there. A small one. See, so we have a very strange image, and when we think about the senses, we think about the water, an ocean, an open water. So it's a salty water. I smell the air. I smell the salt. Then those droplets touch my skin. I almost want to feel it. Underneath them, get a little bit darker. Then I can taste what I can taste. We want to think about number of the senses that you can include here. So what we see here, the scene is the water moving, some might be touching us. And you can discuss by creating this image what kind of senses does particular image evolves in us directly indirectly when i talk about for example about texture it could be implied texture that means the texture that is created like for example texture of the water is very different than of the boat very different than of the cloud right and very different than of the hand that we have here so all of it can be discussed in the class and you can have lots of fun with your students And then the boat is on the top. How can it be that the boat is on the top? We will ask ourselves. And I think in which side, maybe the boat will go on the other side as well. As a real surrealistic painting. Maybe we we'll put another boat on this side. I think that is a very good idea. When I think about the green, I need to have a little bit more of it. Still down in the front. Good. Then, of course, this section as well. So we have two boats. This is a nice color now. Yeah, and then I think that we can color the nails. See? 
we have a crazy image but i think that's good that it's crazy we don't want to have typical image it has a surrealistic image and then you can discuss it through the senses what we see here what are those images evoking us what's happening with those boats coming the way they come maybe i'm still thinking no that should be okay or maybe one more boat Very good. The last part, just to apply the highlighter and the water. Maybe that's too green, so I need the blue highlighter. And that's that. You can now think about what you want to tell about this image. What this image represents. And how can you view this using the different senses? So I hope you enjoy working with me on it and now it's time for you to work on your own image that will represent, represent a surrealistic idea and then you will discuss it through the five senses. Have a good day and have a good day. Bye! I still want to add a couple more things, for example, just trend some places and then you can think about the second octopus arm. So have a good day and enjoy working on your own painting. Bye!